Hello everybody! New cards are out. Today we're going to do this brand new, less than a week old box of Panini Donruss WWE Elite. I don't know what the fucking difference is, but it's a brand new hobby box. And there are 8 cards per pack and 20 packs per box. 2 autographs per box. So, alright. Let's, let's see what they got this time. Yep. Got to remove my white balance card. Alright. Oh, I... I don't like these at all. So there's... It looks like that's what our insert is. Uh, so there's a, a spellbound Roman Reigns. And look, almost all of these are some type of shiny it looks like so like there's that and then like look there's a piper niven and a nikki cross electra lopez seth rollins sheamus lull of ice is that somebody and then carmella um just based on this one pack, I don't like that they're just disembodied bodies over a vaguely blank background. That That is not doing it for me. Like this? Okay, there's... Oh, we just got that in the other pack. So there's... It looks like a Carmella on a red checkerboard. And then there's an Elias. Shotzi. Karrion Cross. Chelsea Green, Xavier Woods, Carmelo Hayes, and a Charlotte. Like, I think what's bugging me is is that, you know, if this was, hey, these were studio shots, or these are all their renders, and we did it on a white background, and then we removed that. But no, these are clearly, like, oh, okay. So here's a 74 of 149 J.D. McDonough. All right. But no, these are, well, that one might be his render. But, like, clearly that one of, of Roxanne and that one of Dominic Click. These are all action shots of people that happened during wrestling. And then they just cropped everything out. And I, I don't, I don't like it. Right? Is it, is it weird? Am I the only one who thinks that's weird? I don't, I don't like it at all. But, I'm just looking for autographs and kiss cards. That's mainly why I buy these. So here's a... Oh, and one thing, I don't know if you can tell on these. So these are embossed. So that Anne is embossed. And then that outline of Cena. So I guess that's interesting, I suppose. All right, and then there's a Booker T. Oh, and I guess he's... That's black for Legends, and blue for SmackDown for Santos Escobar, red for Raw, and a McIntyre, and almost, and then three at the end for NXT for Gigi, Quincy Elliott, and Stax Lorenzo. All right, sure, if you say so. I'll, I'll be honest. Um, a lot of times of late... Um, it's just on in the background, uh, and I barely pay attention anymore, but okay. I dig this. This is another embossed one, but that's a Becky Lynch. And can you believe she had a baby, like, nine months before that photo was taken. She looks amazing. All right, so then here's a, a Ricochet, a Raquel Rodriguez, a Tiffany Stratton, who... Uh, for what she is, did amazing uh, in the Women's Elimination Chamber last weekend, the weekend before, whenever, as of the date this was recorded. Dragon Lee, ooh, always down for some Scarlet. And a, is Riddick Moss still employed? Didn't didn't him and Emma get taken out the last time there was there was a, a big sweep? All right, and then. Here is 
A die cut card, number 18 of 24. Is that good? I don't know. Maybe. And then a Roman Reigns. Candice LeRae. Liv Morgan. Gunther. Dakota Kai. Zelina. And a Cora Jade. Although one thing, now that I've opened several of these packs, one thing that I am like is it looks like the very first card in the pack is always the insert. So, like, here we go. Here's uh, a little of ice again on a red checkerboard. Keanu James, Bobby Lashley, JD Madonna, Butch, Tyler Bate, Bronson Reed, Maxine Dupree. And oh man, is everybody going crazy that she's getting booed because she's not a good wrestler? Well, yeah, that's what happens when you're called up from NXT just because you're pretty. I mean, she's trying, but what the f... Okay, uh, I feel like I've opened the wrong, uh, wrong brand of cards here. Because here, you're like, it's like no, no, someone saw this and approved it. So here's an Elite Deck Edge, number 39 of 99. Like, that screams AEW, right? Part particularly because it's Edge? That's, that's weird, right? I think so. All right. But then there's a Shinsuke and a Joe Gacy, a Dragonoff, Top Dalla. Jey Uso, L.A. Knight, Dijak. Yeah, these are, I have to say, you know, I'm not a big fan of, of most of Panini's graphic design work. But, okay. For, for the base set, but like, that's fucking cool. Why can't the whole set look like that? But like this... Ring Mysterio, it's like, this is boring as shit. Like, and it only really looks nice because I have it lit from multiple sides. And you can see, like, the rainbow backing on this pretty blank background that is just the um, Donruss Spectra S. But like, oh, but there's an Alexa Bliss and a Chad Gable. Like, yeah, I... I mean, we haven't got our hit yet, but I certainly can't say I recommend this to anybody. But like, oh, all right, here's a, I'm going to call that a purple plaid. Uh, Riddles, uh, what is that, 70 of 99? Okay. Nathan Frazier, Sonya Deville, Redacted. Zia Lee, AJ Styles, JC Jane. Paul Heyman. How crazy is that? That because of a lawsuit and the fact that it's fairly easy to identify that uh, Brock was the one who was, was offered Ugh! Sorry. We'll get to that in a second. Who was offered uh, let's just call it fun time uh, with the plaintiff. Um, now he's no, no longer like just mentioned it all. So I guess breaking the streak was pointless. All right, so let's do uh, the back end of this pick, and then we'll get to the front. So there's a Miz and a Montez, Dolph Ziggler, Johnny Gar Gargano, Wesley, Braun Breaker. And then our insert here in the front was this. there has to be some Photoshop involved, or I don't remember Hulk Hogan looking that fucking weird and skinny but there it goes there's this and then here is oh and it's not even on card uh but it's oh all right it is a i don't know even what you call it but a starburst it's number eight of ten for grayson waller one of my absolute least favorite wrestlers at the moment so i mean He's supposed, supposed to be a shitty heel and make me not like him, but I really don't like him. So, all right.
I mean, I think that's one of the lowest numbered autos I've ever gotten. So, I mean, that's good at least. All right, there's a Seamus. Zelina, Cora Jade, American Nightmare. Ooh, Ava. No last name given. A Hank Walker. Why'd they pick an Oscar card from like when she was uh, doing a, a Saudi show where she's fully covered? That seems like an odd choice. And then an Ivy Nile. Here's another elite deck, Roman Reigns, and he's, what, are they, I mean, he's not, it's not even like, a, it's, he's just, you know, he's a heart, but he doesn't have a number on it, so it's not like the, the card deck that are in the AEW, uh, what are those, um, Universe set, I think it was, that we opened the other day, Tony D'Angelo, Damien Priest, oh, Probably the last one of those we're going to get, Bray Wyatt. Bianca Belair. Ricky Boogs. And an Edge. Okay. I will say, I like the inserts. Like, I mean, that's... Look at that. That's pretty cool. Family Lenny. I mean, no offense... Natalia sucks, but you know that's a good a good looking card there, and it's embossed and cool looking, as opposed to Hot Rod, like that. There, I think I made my point. Otis, Grayson Waller, Tatum Paxley, Io Sky, Kofi Kingston. Like, look at that! Isn't that weird? He's kneeling on nothing, right? Or, or is, I don't think he's doing a jump. And then Ariana Grace, rookie? Sure. If you say she's in NXT, I'll believe you. Right. And here's a, a Dragon Lee, 65 of 80. Matt Riddle, Sol Rocca, who... Right, did she come back from her ACL and then it got re-injured like immediately again? Is that what happened? I seem to recall. Solo Sokoa. Finn Balor. Sami Zahn. Randy Orton. Braun Strowman. Like, yeah, it's a mention that, like, a lot of women down in the PC have, like, torn their ACL. So, it seems much higher than random chance would have just happened. So here's a Seth Rollins, a Wesley, Ron Breaker, Elias, Shotzi, Karrion Cross, Chelsea, Xavier. That and like the way these are packaged, like clearly that pack was almost all duplicates of another pack we already had in this box. Like these boxes are are packaged and sold. Designed to be okay. What is this? All right, that's pretty cool. 43 of 49 Ultimate Warrior, but like the de design to be sold to one individual collector, right? People aren't buying these and then selling them individually pack by pack, right? Because you know, if they were designed to be sold as individual packs, that might vaguely make sense. Um, because then it's possible multiple people, uh, could get packs with different people in them. But as I buy one box of these, uh, and they keep coming to me, it seems kind of like a waste. And up, all right, so, up, two, two more after this, and we'll see what our other, all right, there's a, hey, uh, this is me giving the rock the finger again like I did at Royal Rumble 2015. We'll, we'll get that match. I guess. So Becky, Santos, Drew, Olmos, Gigi Dolan, Quincy Elliott.
Well, yeah, see, I mean, the sheer number of duplicates I've gotten in this box seems a lot if this box is designed to be bought by one person and opened by an individual collector, right? All right. This is a Montez, 11 out of 53. Lorenzo, Ricochet, Raquel, Tiffany, Natalia, uh, Dragon Lee, Scarlet. And here's, all right, here's the first one in the box, which should have an autograph. If not, I'm going to be angry again. All right. Do, do I have this? I might have this. Hold on. I know the last one had a lot of the bloodline in it. But frankly, I open so many of these now, I lose track. Was it was it was Chronicles? Yeah, it was that whole box of Chronicles, and that had Rikishi and Jimmy. Okay, nope, because this one. So we finally got. Uh, so there's our Brock Lesnar spellbound, but then our. Ooh, look at this elite signatures. Uh, unnumbered, but it is on card, so that's nice. Is Solo Sokoa. So I think. Literally at this point, I think I have autographs of the entire bloodline, uh, including the ex the extended with Sami Zayn. Uh, I don't I don't have a Rock per se, but I've got like three Romans now, uh, a Jimmy um, Solo. I believe I I have both Jimmy and Jay. I'd have to check. Uh, I've got a Rikishi. So we're getting we're getting up there, but there we go. So solo and and Riddick Moss, Roman, Poison Princess, Liv Morgan, Gunther, Dakota Kai. So we probably got a decent amount of the base set there, uh, plenty of duplicates. But then let's see if if I can even get two of these side by side here. Nope, my easel's not big enough. But so, uh. Nope, and that's out of frame. So there's a solo. And Grayson Waller are my two autos here. Um, Grayson Waller, not on card. Solo, another Bloodline member. That's pretty cool, I suppose. Uh, but yeah, I gotta say. Overall, for the underwhelmed with about 90% of this set, the regular base cards, <laughs> they kind of suck. The uh, the inserts, though, uh, the, the embossing is cool. Uh, they're they're kind of die cut and, and, and embossed and look nice. Um, and they aren't just disembodied bodies on a weird, shiny background. Uh, overall... Would not recommend, particularly um, list price on these boxes, $195. Um, but it is, you know, a 20, oh, I can do this, uh, 80, uh, it's 160 cards in a million hobby box, two hits. Yeah, that's that's really low um, on, on the hits per dollar ratio. Uh, but yeah, so that's what I got. Um I don't even know what's next. I, I think uh, I, I have a bunch more boxes of AEW that I've bought and not done, uh, but I wanted to get this out uh, because these are, are relatively new. Uh, if you like what you see, keep watching. Please like, subscribe. Uh, it always helps. All right, everyone, thank you. Have a good day. Happy Leap Day if you're watching this when it was recorded. All right, thanks, everyone.